all right what's up y'all this is jmg lover of all rpgs check this out so i was playing the demo of strangers of paradise final fantasy origins man i was playing the first one and i gotta say that thing was looking kind of spooky anyway so let me just back back a little bit I'm, i feel like i'm rambling a little bit this is going this is not some detailed synapses this is just me playing the game and telling you how i feel so i guess to start over this is it was first a demo of this game called trial one for final fantasy origins i played it it was looking kind of terrible <laughs> to say the least it was looking bad the gameplay looked fun but i haven't played enough of it but it just it just threw me off of the um the whole aesthetic it's just this guy named jack right jack that's his name the main character is jack and the other two guys i don't remember their names but anyway that's not the important part the important part was the gameplay and it was okay but you know it was choppy at times as well so i was like man okay i don't know what granny's doing with um tecmo is that tecmo but that was looking nasty all right it wasn't even feeling that. i was like all right gotta get your money back for this deal or whatever but anyway so i decided to play the um, trial two you know give it a fair shake because i played the first one ain't gonna lie i was kind of like uh I was kind of biased, you know, I seen all the bad press. I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit, uh, game kind of meh, you know? Chaos, 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 right? So anyway, I started playing the second one. I was like, okay, this is gonna be my honest look. This is gonna be my, my grand scale of things. And honestly, I'm liking it. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Now a lot of this stuff is from the older game, well, the older demo, but I just wanna touch on the stuff that I like, you know? jobs i like the fact that you can switch jobs it's for typical final fantasy jobs like uh thief pugilist held and warrior wonder if you could be a ninja and there's dragoon I, that, that surprised me i didn't know it was a dragoon class and a black mage and even got red mage i just unlocked that so that's cool you can upgrade skills once you level up you level up your job not yourself most of your stats are tied to a job and your equipment so you have to just figure out what you want to do with that. It's a lot of stuff you can got going on. It's a bunch of stats. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really go into detail. I didn't look at every little thing, but I did know that leveling up your job gets you new skills and new abilities, which allow you to do more moves, you know, obvious RPG stuff. And, you know, to get like special jobs like the red mage, you got to level up um, black mage and swordsman, I think. So you gotta level up two other jobs. Like and think like Final Fantasy Tactic, you know? You know, to get different jobs, you gotta level up two other jobs to a certain level and you unlock that job. Kinda like that. So the action gameplay and stuff, it's really cool, really responsive. So I don't know if this is on PC or not, but I'm playing on PS5 and uh the way you fight, you pretty much attack like Demon Souls with the back button, L1. There's a um light attack, I think. R, no, I think it's R1. R1 does a light attack. Um, R2 does a special, which is tied to your weapon. And um, L1 blocks. And I forgot what L2 does. I pressure them all, but I just can't think of it right now. Uh, I know circle. The important thing is circle. Okay, so you got to gauge below your life, right? Well, not below your life, but below the um, below your screen. And uh, if you press that at the right time, it does like a counter. It lets the gauge go down, but you pretty much parry the move. I said counter, but you can counter. There's some skills that allow you to counter after that, but um, it mostly does a parry, which pretty much, as you can see in this gameplay, I was helping me a lot fighting uh, Sir Garland over here. But uh, yeah, you parry and it pretty much is very useful. And once the gauge runs down, you can still parry. But if he hits you when your gauge is really low, guess what? You're going down for the count. You get stunned for a little while, and that pretty much means death in a lot of circumstances. Every time I done it, I pretty much died, so yeah. But you can also evade with X. Now, it's crazy, because X doesn't cost a little gauge down there. I wanna say it's stamina, but I mean, if you dodge it, it doesn't take stamina. It just does, the gauge only goes down from whatever it calls when you attack and use the parry. So, and it's very responsive. Everything I've done was pretty responsive as far as the gameplay, so that's really cool. But there was a little lag sometimes. Like, I guess it's like when you stop for a while and you start playing immediately, you get this horrible lag. 
I'm gonna see if I can get some better footage, but I don't know if that's just, I don't know. I honestly don't know, but that's a problem. You can't have an action packed game with this amount of lag in it. It sucks, but yeah, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. And um, one thing I hate about this game, I'm just gonna jump off the back. That's it. That's a good wordplay there. Jump. You can't jump in this game. I think that's dumb. It's because you fight a lot of enemies that are airborne and you have to, I guess, use a certain class that will be better fighting them, like, I guess, a black mage or a dragoon. But I think that's kind of. They could have added a jump button, made a triangle or something. They could have added a jump button. That would have made things a lot easier in some fights. But I guess it would have made some fights trivial in the way to do some abilities, I guess. You know, you could just jump over a lot of attacks. I don't know. I still think it should have been in the game. But anyway, and this game's hard. This game is hard. It's pretty difficult, but I like the difficulty. It's not like it's Omega hard. It's like you can see where you die and improve from there. And I love that about this game. Honestly, this game is just a Final Fantasy X Ninja Gaiden game. That's literally what it is to me. And it reminds me of the old PS2 games too. That's what I'm that's what I really like about it. Cause you know, a lot of games do revolutionize, but there's you don't have to at every moment. You know, everything doesn't have to be a revolution. Some of the stuff just gotta be can be better, older versions of itself, you know. But that's just me, man. I feel like the game is really good. It has potential. The story is, I don't know. It's kind of weird all over the place. Chaos, you gotta kill chaos. And I don't know, that's really it. <laughs> you gotta kill chaos. There's no other way to put it. That's what they say. That's what you gotta do. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. But other than that, I mean, the game's good. I like it, like I said, it reminds me of the old PS2 games of old ps2 games of uh, past generations and it's really rubbing on me like i don't know it's hitting my sweet spot for that actiony game i really need but as long as it's stay responsive and they get these um feedback from these trials i thought i got high hopes for this game like honestly it just wasn't on my radar at all but this game is looking pretty good it feels good that's what you want from a game it feels good so that's what i like about it and the last thing I want to talk about is the multiplayer. I want to talk about the last because I don't have much to say because I haven't tried it. But uh, yeah, there's multiplayer in this game. Now I'm thinking something like Niho. You ever played that game? I guess or like Souls games where you can summon somebody or something. I haven't really tried it, so I don't know. But yeah, that's I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. I am convinced that this game is worth a buy. Or at least looking into, you know, I'm so honestly. So yeah, did a complete 180 on this. I honestly, I was not, I was mad. Honestly, <laughs> Square Enix made this game because I'm like, why are you wasting all your resources on this game? That this just looks terrible. Just it just, ugh. but you know, I actually gave it a good try, and I'm, I'm honestly impressed. Like I like what I see, and I want to see more of it. Honestly, uh, yeah. So yeah, i will be looking out for that. So I'm let you guys know what I like, what I thought. And yeah, this has been JMG. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Peace out. Hey, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe and like, and give me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Thanks for watching.